Welcome back everyone. Today I am bringing you another review on another Android TV set-top box that was provided to me by TickTid for a uh, review and demonstration of just how it works. Now, first off, I'm going to say that this is one of the less expensive models. Uh, I think right now it's going for about $35. So it only does have the one gigabyte of RAM, eight gigabytes of ROM, and it's running uh, KitKat. And, you know, at first I was a bit skeptical. Um, I thought this wasn't really going to compare to the other ones I've had or reviewed. But I want to say I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, this runs as good as, you know, my 2 gigabyte one that's running Lollipop. So um, I'm going to show you um, a little bit about it. Um, first off, it's this is the box itself. It's got three USB ports on the side. You know, your SD slot, I think, on the other side. Wait, no, nothing on the other side. Uh, on the back, you're going to have your Ethernet jack, another USB port, your AV in, HDMI in, and your power. So, first thing that I found that was a little interesting about this, there is no power button on it. Uh, there's, so there's no hardware power button on the unit itself. So you need to use the remote when you go to plug in. So this is the remote that came with it. And one thing I'm going to say or right off the bat here about this remote, I've used a lot of different of these boxes, and the remotes were just terrible. This one, I'm going to say it's actually not bad. Um I did not, uh, you know, you can be aiming away from the box and it still registers the click, you know, like a normal kind of TV remote. But some of the ones I've reviewed in the past, you had to be directly aiming right at it, pinpoint precision, and snipe the thing for it to register your clicks. This one, thankfully, it does not need that. So I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to power it on. It's relatively pretty fast to boot up. Getting there, getting there any second now. There we go. Okay, so again, like I said, it's running KitKat. So I don't have any problem with this because, you know, KitKat, Lollipop... It really doesn't matter all that much because for the most part, at least for me and most other people, you're going to be using this for Cody. Uh, and then, so I mean, this is just, you know, when I boot this thing up, I go right down here and launch Cody, and I'm pretty much done. Um, aside from Cody, it does have other apps you can use on it. I mean, it's got, you know, YouTube, Pandora, Netflix... You can get in your Gmail from it. And maps, I'm not sure why you'd want maps, but I mean, if you want to look up something. But uh, it, it it has everything that, you know, your standard Android smartphone would have. I mean, it, it's an Android. It's bottom line. Anything that you want on an Android, you can install on this. From emulators, uh, you can, you know, use a game controller and, you know, play Nintendo, Super Nintendo Genesis. All the games you've grown up and that you love, well, depending on how old you are. But in any case, um, I'm going to show you the bread and butter. And that is Cody. Now, I'm going to start off by saying it, it does come installed with Cody 15.2. You can easily go to the App Store and upgrade it to Jarvis, which is uh, 16. And uh, I also, this isn't the. You can do the TV add-ons by, um, all you have to do is Google Fusion. And once you install Fusion, uh, there's a config wizard, which will add all these nice channels here. And under these channels, you're going to find 
as soon as we say no thanks all the different movies tv shows Pretty much everything you can want. And this is all streaming right off the internet. Me personally, I have a network attached storage, which I just launch all my movies and TV shows right from there. But this isn't going to be a Cody review. This is more of a review for the uh the ticked tv box oh it must not be detecting my nas right now and eh, that's okay but anyhow so i am going to again with the the remote control i'm just going to go to the home page and you're back to your android box here okay i paused it for a second because i wanted to make sure my nas was connected and get back into this so I can at least show you something playing here so you know here's all different movies let's go to Austin Powers that's always a good movie and voila Dr. Evil so that's it hopefully you found this informative and I have to say like again for the price of this unit it's you know comparable to your eighty dollar hundred dollar units um if you're looking for just something to you know watch tv shows and play movies you know this works fine um i'll post a link in the description so hopefully you found this informative and as always you know thumbs up if you did thanks everyone